Hello, everyone. My name's Sam Sarsum. Thanks for joining us today uh, for this presentation on Selling with Tech Data, the benefits of the indirect model. I'm a client solutions manager with Tech Data in the Dynamics practice, and I'm joined by my colleagues, Connor Langan and Austin Kelly. I'll be starting things off today with indirect versus direct, and then Connor's going to dive a little deeper on the specifics about the benefits of tech data as your indirect partner. And then we're going to wrap things up with a roundtable discussion conducted by Austin with some of our Dynamics partners, just to give you an idea from the horse's mouth about what their experience has been like. And I think you'll really enjoy that last section if you stick around because uh, it's very interesting and informative. So without further ado, let's dive right in. These are a few myths and tall tales about indirect. And I'll just cover a few of these, but if you go to the upper left-hand corner, I make much more margin as a direct CSP. Well, that's not true. In fact, at our highest price tier, um, the, the margin is at parity with direct, but even at our lowest tier, the entry level for partners just starting off with us, uh, there's only a, about a 2% difference with direct. So that one really doesn't hold any water. Uh, how about this? I'll lose my PDM if I move indirect. That one's definitely not true. In fact, you're going to gain a PDM. You're going to maintain all the resources and contacts. And if you're managed, you're going to keep your PDM. Everything stays the same and you get an extra layer of support from tech data that uh, Connor's going to talk about in a little bit. And we don't have the time for all of these, but trust me, they're all not true. Uh, this is a great quote from Satya. It just talks about how Dynamics is right in the bullseye of what they're trying to accomplish in capturing all of the uh, software needs of our business community. Now, once you have Dynamics as their biz apps, whether you're talking about ERP or CRM solutions, everything else gets dragged along. Uh, but it also, because of the deep integration with Office 365, whenever you have a client looking for a business application, it makes so much sense for Office 365 customers to choose Dynamics, and we'd like to get you in front of those clients. Now, along those lines, if you look here in the center slide, fewer than 5% of Office 365 customers are running Dynamics. That is a tremendous greenfield opportunity. Just in the SMB space, we're talking about $16 billion of potential. Um, and we want to get you in front of those clients. And the way we do that is by marketing to our modern workplace community to let them know about the opportunity with Dynamics. And then we pair them up with our Dynamics partners to do the services. So just to give you an idea of the size of the opportunity, these are very generic numbers, um, not based on tech data, but the average indirect provider has 3,000 partners. I can tell you tech data's number is well north of that. Um, but based on these numbers, the average number of modern workplace partner base is 50 to 100 clients. So the number of potential Dynamics decisions every year, if you assume 75 customers, is between five and seven and a half. And on top of that, you've got three inquiries per year from their customers for each one of these partners. That's just ERP and that's organic. So you're talking about 9,000 organic ERP opportunities in the modern workplace community. So it's so important to work with these O365 partners to uncover these opportunities. And Tech Data is all about making that happen. So let's wrap things up. I just want to show you the team. This is who to reach out to if you do want to connect with Tech Data. Don't you don't have to you can do a quick screen grab if you want to reach out to one of us in particular or just remember the team email msdynamics at techdata.com. msdynamics at techdata, reach out and uh, we will be happy to engage. And with that, I'm going to hand things over to Connor, who's going to go into more specifics about why tech data. Connor, take it away. 
All right. Thank you, Sam. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll get through the Tech Data D365 partner program here. So just a quick background of how our program evolved to where it is today. Um, going back a few years, we uh, in our channel of CSPs that we uh, support today, we have a lot of partners that were coming to us asking for help with Dynamics opportunities, whether that was a customer looking at Business Central moving uh, from QuickBooks or looking for a new CRM, uh, anything and everything, we have had them come up through our channel. And so because we don't provide those services, our natural tendency was just to say, hey, let us find a partner for you. We'll introduce them and they will help you with this opportunity. So that's kind of the uh, centerpiece of the program. Uh, we'll go through kind of a little bit of the detail there and, and uh, some of the additional benefits uh, of being a D365 partner of tech data. So uh, obviously as, a, as a, one of the large indirect provider, providers for Microsoft, we cover everything that you need as a CSP. Uh, we have the technical support that you would need. We offer marketing services. Uh, our center of excellence uh, encompassing everything that you would need as a CSP, including our click to run solutions factory, uh, bundled pre-configured solutions that you can leverage and offer to your customers uh, for many, many different uh, scenarios. Uh, and so there's a lot of interesting solutions that we have that are not quite specific to dynamics, but we're working towards that. Uh, but as I mentioned, the centerpiece of everything is all around D365 services. Uh, and so in our community, you're going to see all the different lead generation programs that we have and some of the marketing services uh, on top of a PDM. So I'll go into that now. Our PDMs are essentially meant to work alongside your Microsoft PDMs if you are a managed partner with Microsoft. Uh, really, they do everything that they do. Uh, they know they're, they're Microsoft certified. They know the licensing. Uh, we've got coast to coast coverage, uh, so they're going to be available to you when when you need them. And essentially, you know, everything Microsoft, everything around your uh, Microsoft relationship. They will just be there to complement that if you're an existing uh, managed partner with Microsoft, working with your PDM, helping you grow your business. That's what your PDM with tech data is meant to do. Making sure that you uh, understand all of your incentives, uh, making sure you're getting all of those rebate dollars uh, and having everything set up in your partner center the right way to do that. So that's one of the, the, the key components of the program here. Um, you know, obviously, as I mentioned, we have a few different things we're doing, supporting marketing services uh, to partners. We make MDF funding available to our partners at uh, different levels based on their, you know, our partnership levels as we go through here. You'll see more of that. Um, and that's intended for partners to create a marketing campaign or uh, fund an event or webinar uh, that they want to do to help drive new business. Partner spotlights are one of those things that the tech data handles. We do webinars all the time on our side uh, out to the channel or internally for our partners where uh, for Dynamics partners, we're putting you on the spotlight. We're enabling you to showcase your business, your solutions, your services and, and, and your strengths. And so that's something that we've seen a lot of partners take part in and we, we continue to do that going forward. Our TD agency is uh, a paid marketing agency that is in-house at Tech Data. Uh, they, they're an award-winning award service and they do great work uh, that you can, so this is something that you can also leverage with Tech Data on top of all the existing partner on resources you have today. And so your PDM or you know, your Tech Data Dynamics team is gonna be able to help you uh, fully leverage that partner on tool. So these are lead generation programs. I'll try to cover these very quickly uh, because we do have limited time, but the P2P network is essentially what I explained uh, to start. We have partners in our channel that reach out to us asking for help on a dynamics opportunity. And so what the P2P network is, is 
we take that opportunity that comes in and we introduce a dynamics partner to help them close that business. And so it's very unstructured. We leave the partners up to work together and decide how they structure their own relationship there. And we've seen a lot of success with that. And so we continue to see that expand. And so we continually have a need for more partners to support that growth. Uh, the ally program is essentially a strategic uh, alliance that we introduce a dynamics partner and a modern workplace partner and enable them to work together, support them with some funding and some additional uh, resources to help them uh, run campaigns or, or put together an event where they can go and market to each other's customers and sell more all around. Um, as we move to the right side here, we have the QRP program and the tech data and user demand generation, where uh, essentially these are lead programs. We're handing off leads to you to take and run uh, on your own. So you're not going to be working with another partner in these two programs. Uh, the QRP is a perpetual Microsoft funded program. It keeps going uh, uh, continuously. And the tech data program is different in that it runs for a specified period of time. And if you're working with tech data, that's something that you're eligible to be nominated to participate in. And so lastly, just to go through our partnership levels very quickly, you have a uh, starter up to transformer. Uh, from the very start with tech data, um, you're gonna get strong margins, 27% uh, front end margin. That's when you're looking at the ERP, uh, business central, finance and supply chain licensing, you get that 27% discount with tech data, uh, as well as you're going to be eligible for one service opportunity per year at that level. And so uh, just to clarify on that, we are not sending leads to partners that have not implemented dynamics before. We have a few, uh, few things that we maintain as a bare minimum experience level and competency uh, that we are introducing partners uh, in that scenario when we're giving them leads. And so uh, don't think that we're giving leads to partners that have no experience implementing dynamics because that is not what we want. We, we want these to be successful engagements. And so even from the starter level all the way up to elite managed, you're going to have access to grow your services business through tech data. And so as you move to the right here, you're going to see you're going to get more margin more service opportunities and more MDF funding starting at the transformer level, uh, as well as the partner spotlight during the webinar. So all the way at the top end, you're gonna be able to participate in everything that's in this program. Uh, $5,000 a year worth of MDF funding, uh, eligible for a spotlight every six months. You're gonna get 30% front end margin with tech data. Uh, on the you know without your back end rebate dollars that is and so you know and a minimum of four service opportunities per year um, so that elite managed level that's where you're going to get everything with us uh, but don't discount everything from the very start there's a lot of value in here that we're seeing a lot of partners starting to take advantage of so with that I will pass it to Austin who's going to be hosting the roundtable discussion with a couple of our dynamics partners. Thank you, Connor, and hello, everyone. Uh, if you've made it this far in the presentation, uh, I also want to say thank you to you. Uh, with that, welcome to the roundtable discussion portion of our presentation. My name is Austin Kelly. I am one of the partner development managers for the eastern side of the U.S. here at Tech Data. And today we're joined by a few of our Dynamics P2P partners who will be sharing some of their thoughts and opinions on working indirectly through Tech Data as well as their overall experience with our D365 program. Uh, with that, I want to pass the mic on to our panel. And if we could, you know, let's go around the horn, introduce yourself and give our viewers uh, an overview of your company and sort of where your talent falls in the Dynamics 365 space. And I think Mr. Ray Shupak is going to kick us off. Thank you. Thank you, Austin. Yes, my name is Ray Shupak. And I'm a director of uh, operations and business development here at the Tech Minds Group in Rochelle Park, New Jersey, about 20 minutes outside New York City. Uh, we moved our uh, support and operations over to Tech Data, particularly in the CSP and um, for the Dynamics 365 Business Central. We're implementers, 
uh, fully integrators with many other different um, ISV packages for Business Central. And our core competency lies in helping MSPs and other companies move their uh, support and their operations to uh, Business Central. And uh, I want to thank everyone, and especially uh, Tech Data, for inviting us and for inviting me on this call today. Thank you, Austin. Ken, did you want to go ahead and introduce yourself to the, sure. To the viewers? Sure. Thanks, Austin. Uh, my name is Ken Farmer. I'm the president, CEO, solution architect, chief bottle washer for uh, Dyn365 Pros. We are a boutique uh, Dynamics 365, whatever Microsoft's calling it these days, CRM, customer engagement uh, application. Uh, I've been working with the application since beta one, actually, way back when in 2002. Uh, we were part of the beta team, and I just got real excited about the product. I started my company 10 years ago now, uh, 2011, and we focus exclusively on Dynamics 365. We work with a lot of uh, ERP partners, uh, implementing the integrations, uh, whether it's with sales, customer service, field service. Uh, that's really what we specialize. We focus on all the key pieces in and around Dynamics. We started working with Tech Data, oh, I want to say three years ago, four years ago, uh, really around the CSP side of what we were doing. And uh, it's really turned into a great partnership. We uh, are, are excited about where it's going. Uh, we've enjoyed the interaction and, and the actual true partnering. Uh, coming from the, the partner channel, it's uh, important to us that those elements uh, exist. Thank you. Next up, Jeremy, you want to take it away? Sure, thanks, Austin. Uh, similar to Ken, uh, H1 Higgins uh, Consulting, we started this company a little over eight years ago, primarily focused around all things CS, we're CSP provider, all things Dynamics, right? Uh, matter of fact, uh, Ray, up near you, we had our first client up in Parsippany, uh, New Jersey, but our core competency in ex is extending that back office dynamics on the mobility side. So you'll hear us talk about M&Ms. So we come out of mobility and medical devices is, is what our core competency is down here at H1. Uh, been a tech data provider or partner, I should say, for I think all eight of those years. But I can tell you truly that partnership definition of partner is is what tech data brings to the table. So we appreciate the opportunity to speak today um, on the panel and, and thank you, Austin. Chad, last but certainly not least. All right, thanks a lot, Austin. Uh, Chad Collette from Ledge U Partners. Uh, we're located in Wisconsin, home of the NBA champion Milwaukee Bucks, uh, and our office is in Appleton, just south of uh, the Green Bay Packers. So wonderful state for sports. Uh, we've been around since 2007. We're a Microsoft Dynamics Gold Partner. Uh, started everything focused on CRM. Uh, now really just uh, you know living that customer engagement side of things, from the the marketing to the sales to the customer service, taking that whole lifecycle journey. Uh, we help customers you know decide if Microsoft Dynamics 365 is the right solution for them, and then and focusing on their strategy and their processes. So really digging deep on that front end to ensure that their strategy, those processes, everything is in place before we design, develop, implement, train them, and launch Microsoft Dynamics 365, really giving it the greatest chance for success. Uh, we are um, you know, really primarily USA-based. We've got customers in almost every single state across this country. And uh, we're you know, one of the newer partners, I think, on this panel to Tech Data, and uh, have enjoyed a, a great uh, relationship so far. Perfect. Thanks, Chad. Uh, so I want to kick things off with Ken. So Ken, you mentioned you know you've been indirect for quite some time. You're long you're a longtime Tech Data Dynamics partner. Uh, you've been very loyal and very patient as we've built out our PP <laughs> network, its program, and its processes. You know, being that you were one of our first services partners, are, are you sort of able to touch on your experience and maybe how the relationship has evolved over the years? Yes, absolutely. Uh, we were excited to join that program when we when it first started up and uh, we went into it understanding that there was going to be some growth i mean we're all about partnering whether it's other partners in the channel or or we really look for that in our vendors as well and uh, i was pleasantly surprised at how 
easy it was to interact with you guys uh, around the program. And, you know, with all new programs, there might be a hiccup or two, but you guys addressed it super quick. Uh, we were able to uh, really start getting value, I think, from the program uh, very quickly. Um, so as it's grown, as it's matured, uh, we've been fortunate that the team is pretty much the same team we started with. Uh, it, there hasn't been a lot of changes with, with off, oftentimes with, with vendors, as we all know. Uh, you talk to one guy one day and tomorrow you've got uh, a new a new person to talk to that doesn't really understand your history or where you're coming from. So we've been able to avoid that. You guys have been consistent and uh, and continue to deliver for us. So uh, I want to thank you for that. It's been it's been a good run. We we value our true partnerships. Great. Thank you, Kenny. Yeah, we're, we're a pretty tight knit group here on the dynamics team. Um, so appreciate that. And Ray, next question is for you. So being one of our service partners who can support CE, Business Central, FNO, uh, as well as the Power Platform, you know, you're pretty flexible in terms of, you know, some of the variety of leads we bring to you. Uh, is there one lead that that sticks out in your eyes that may have turned out to be, you know, more fruitful than than others? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, there has been. Um well, first of all, the the entire uh, uh, farming that you guys do for us, and and the hunting within the uh, uh, the existing base of of tech data is 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 voluminous. Okay, uh, we spent a lot of money on ourselves to uh, do marketing programs and stuff. But again, it's been you know when we look at what tech data has brought to us, it's it's been spectacular. Uh, we we've, we've had a uh, recent uh, opportunity that was passed to us through a uh, managed services provider, and again, the uh, the program is beneficial for all managed service providers to retain licensing costs and the customer ownership. But um, you know, Tech Data brings us in as a partner looking to do the implementation services for the MSP. And in many cases, if it if it takes to white label it, we're we're good with that too. But uh, a recent lead uh, we turned out very fruitful and very successful. Um, it was something that um, a company, it was around $10 million uh, a year with a, a substantial staff wanted to, was, was sort of hit the ceiling on what they were doing with QuickBooks. Well, we brought them out of QuickBooks. We brought them into Dynamics Business Central. We hooked on a front end of EDI processing where now their orders coming in and there are military uh, uh, and governments with the GSA. And so orders are now flowing in from EDI. We've also hooked at the back end uh, a web store for e-commerce and for credit card processing. So we put in three ISVs with Business Central and we did this all within four months. So I can tell you that that is in itself, okay, a phenomenal amount of time to do it. And a lot of it came from the account itself, who Tech Data had primed with us for us uh, about cooperation and and working with um, the implementator implementation company like us. So it was a group effort combined successfully, and uh, I'll tell you, it was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had over my 35 years of experience in implementing ERP systems. So, kudos. Yeah, it's great to hear. Yeah, and Ray, we talk all the time about about that one. So it's it's always good to hear that you know our partners are, are being successful with those leads. Um, Chad, I want to move on to you. So recently, you know, we coordinated a client facing event uh, with you and Microsoft. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that event um, and sort of what the premise of that event was, and maybe your overall thoughts on how that how that went? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know. To kind of echo on what Ken said as well, we you know we love partnerships, love working with everybody. Uh, and when Tech Data approached us about uh, doing a joint webinar with Microsoft, we, we were you know very enthusiastic about that. We do a number of webinars on our own, and of course, led you partners. You know, we try to get the word out. But uh, when you can incorporate Microsoft and all the resources that they have at their fingertips, uh, obviously, we're gonna you know cast a. a bigger net um, across the country and across the, across the globe to spread the message. Uh, so working with Tech Data and working with Microsoft on this webinar, we created a, um, a webinar called, uh, you know, creating a connected experience to delight your customers. And it really ran that, that whole customer journey from the marketing to the sales, to the customer service side, uh, to give that full customer engagement a lifestyle. I will say working with you know tech data and Microsoft, everything was extremely organized. Everything was very well prepared. 
the webinar we did this spring uh, was great to showcase not only LedgeView, but to showcase the tools and what we can do for customers. Uh, Microsoft was able to promote this. We promoted it. Tech Data promoted this, and we were able to get nearly 700 registrants for this webinar webinar, uh, which is amazing. And it also created on-demand uh, materials and assets for us to continue to use afterwards. And in fact, the webinar went so well from a Microsoft perspective that they immediately followed up with us and said, hey, can we run this again um, as another uh, simulated live event? So we didn't have to re-record it. The resources were already all put together. Microsoft immediately put that back into their marketing cycle. And we ran it again a couple months ago. And we were able to generate about another six to 700 registrations for that. Uh, so all told, you know, uh, nearly 1,500 registrations between the two events. Um, and that's all thanks to Tech Data. Yeah, no, that's that's great. That was that was unique, and uh, I was very excited that we were able to put that together. So, uh, Satya, Mr. Nadella, if you're listening, we got three other partners who would love to uh, participate in that. So, you let us know. So, lastly, Jeremy, uh, you know, being that you're a, a boutique shop mainly focused on uh, M and M's, right? At least you originally were, and of course you still are. But you know, in addition to that, you're offering Dynamics as a solution. <laughs> You know, what has your experience been like with the partner to partner network? And are you able to talk about how tech data has maybe helped you connect the dots and, and add another stream of revenue for you? Oh, no, for sure. I mean, like you said, we're a boutique shop. So coming out of the Atlanta area, there's a, a wealth of knowledge in terms of people. But for our small shop, you know, we, we are very much focused in those areas that we just discussed, mobility. Um, medical device, and then Dynamics kind of fell into our plate. And, and while we were obviously familiar with it, we come from ERP backgrounds, we, we kind of always kept it at arm's length and was observing what was taking place. Once the partnership with Tech Data was formed, you know, it's been a huge success, a huge revenue stream for us in an area that wasn't necessarily a core competency um, from a business standpoint. Again, from a knowledge standpoint, sure. But what Tech Data has done with us is providing resources, whether it's to partners, uh, such as you guys here on the panel, or, or just here's who you need to go to speak to about um, licensing, right? You pick it. Uh, that's what Tech Data has bridged the gap for us. Who, you know, We don't have 100 consultants. We're not showing up with an army of, of consultants and, and making things happen, which we're, we're okay and, and pride ourselves on, actually. But that's where the relationship with Tech Data has been just tremendous. It's filling those gaps or pointing us and navigating us through this Microsoft ecosystem, which we all know, I think it just changed five minutes ago. So yeah, we are constantly having to re-educate, relearn and, and find to who to go to speak to. Great, well, well said, Jeremy. Um, thank you, thank you all again for, for taking the time. You know, we've got a short time to, to complete this, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up. Um, but, you know, if you're a Dynamics partner and you're being forced, you know, by Microsoft to go indirect, or if you just want to operate uh, in a hybrid model and leverage the benefits of working with tech data, you know, feel free to reach out to myself or, or msdynamics at techdata.com. And we can certainly, you know, get you involved in the program. Um, so with that, we thank you again for, for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the session. A uh, big thanks to DynamicsCon for having us. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to post those in the chat and we'll be sure to answer those in just a minute during our live Q&A. So thank you all. All I wanna say is I've worked with many other providers, okay, and not to mention their names, just competitors to tech data, and there's nobody that compares. And I'm talking 30 years of experience. So get off of Microsoft support, move your CSP <laughs> to tech data, and you will never be sorry. Or Ray is gonna hunt you down. That's right. Yeah, he's from Jersey now. <laughs> yeah. Kneecaps. Watch out. Thank you, guys. Home of the Sopranos. Thanks, guys. Good to see you. Thank you. Take care. Hey, nice Bye. meeting you. Well, let's connect on uh, email somehow. All right? Let's do it. All right. All right. All Thanks. Right. All right. Thanks, everybody.